Here's a track called I.O. by Peter Gabriel from his new album of the same name, and it's a song you need to have in your collection right now. As a new release, it's my job to showcase it for you so that you can make up your own mind. If you're new to this channel, my name's Dave and I'm from the UK, and I react to progressive rock tracks and albums featured over the last 60 years. As a brand new track, it's received a ban by the record company, so there'll be an overview of the song coming next on this channel, and a link to a full reaction on free on my Patreon in the description below. Let's play the track. Stuff coming out, stuff going in. One of the great privileges of, of having a hobby like this is that you get to listen to some of the best music around from the past and also from the future. Now, first reaction to that, genuine first reaction to that, what a super song. Now, that's probably the finest Peter Gabriel song I've listened to. Big words, I know, but wow, that is a great, great track that we've just heard. Let's dig a bit deeper. So the, the majesty of the track is not immediately visible to the naked ear. But it's there. Boy, it's there. It's deceptively simple, but that should not be taken for granted. The very best composers have this knack, and Peter is one of the best, in my opinion. You put the track on for the first time, and you find yourself straight away in that comfort zone that's like drinking a mug of hot chocolate on a cold winter's day, or a barefoot run on a beach on a hot summer's day. It's supreme comfort. The lyrics put a smile on your face as you listen. You seem to hum along immediately, even though you don't yet know the song. Now, now that's some sort of skill. The melody is light and bouncy and supporting the words like the happiest of marriages you could ever imagine. It skips along like a ride on a bike, but it's over before you've actually begun to fully enjoy the ride. And you instantly put it back on and want to listen to it again. And that's just what I'm going to do. The music is simple, big piano to start, supporting the chords from multi-Gabriel voices and subtle bass guitars and keyboards to accompany. Gabriel's voice remains as strong as ever and is a testament to being looked after for a gent of his age. This looks like it's going to be a blockbuster this, this album actually deserves. And a score of 10 out of 10 feels a little bit like a, an insult, but it is that good. Now, there's a link to the video in the description below, as well as how to buy a copy of the album the track has come from. Let me know what you thought of the track in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this one, subscribe to the channel for similar videos. See you next time on the Album Review Channel. Bye for now.